If you think you can't grow your own fruits and vegetables because you don't have enough space, well, you would be wrong. We're with a horticulture expert here at the Middle Tennessee Research Center. This is Natalie Baumgartner, and she has got many ways, many techniques for how you can grow in small spaces, right? Yes, absolutely. So I have the opportunity with Extension to work with homeowners and small-scale growers across the state. Yeah. We still have many folks who grow in half acre or acre gardens, but more and more we have folks who live in apartments and condominiums and yes. small spaces where really all they may have is a porch yeah. or a, or a, a small raised bed yeah. or a deck. Yeah. And so I just have a few examples here today that we can talk about with some things that would fit their spaces really well. Fantastic. Well, let's start with the thing that I think is most impressive to me. One of my favorite vegetables of all times is the cucumber. This is a cucumber plant. Tell me about this. Yeah, so this is uh, this is just a cucumber that is in a container down there, and this is called a patio snacker, which is the cultivar. But it's really made for uh, home growers who have the opportunity to grow either on a small trellis or on a, a single uh, twine, like I have it hanging there. And we just have some small plastic clips, which we can use to Yeah, uh, so this is what these secure. look okay. Yeah, and so this end of the clip will actually hold the string and when we snap it closed it'll hold the string tight here yeah. this will secure the plant a few clips all the way up and this is only about a five or six week old cucumber wow. plant so in just a few weeks you can see the uh, <laughs> you can see the blooms and the young cucumbers on there will Oh we'll wow, I love that. Now you've got another way for folks who may love, you know, they're cooking with herbs and they want to maybe have them right outside their back door. These are a couple examples of, uh, this one was planted from seed. Yes, yes, so uh, both of these were grown from seed and our greenhouse is on campus. This is a cool one that I think people will, uh, will enjoy. This is what we call uh, multi-seed pellet. So if we look at here, we can see... This is basil. We, this is basil, yeah. yeah and, but there's three different kinds of basil huh. in here. And so all together, uh, in one seed, we had a red leaf basil and a couple different kinds of, uh, of green leaf basil, and, and they came together all pelleted. Wow. So with one small uh, pelleted seed, we could, uh, we could, that is we could get a amazing. mix of basil, and that's available for different kinds of kale. Uh -huh. It's available for different kinds of lettuce in a in a wide range of seed catalogs that folks are used to, uh, wow. used to buy from. Talk about what we've got down front here. So in front of us, we have, uh, we have some patio star zucchini. So it's an example of a fairly large container. And for these larger crops, we'll want to get them with as much soil and media as possible so that they'll uh, not dry out near as fast, which is, of course, one of the main concerns with container uh, vegetable gardening. We also have an eggplant. That's a patio baby eggplant, so it's a recent All-America Selections winner that is great in containers. Wow. I grew those at the UT Gardens last year. Beautiful, personal size yeah. little eggplants that uh, produce well all season long. Natalie, you're going to be mm -hmm. teaching a class as, as well as some other experts here tomorrow mm -hmm. at the Fruits of the Backyard event. Talk about that. Yeah, so tomorrow right here in Spring Hill, we're going to have a extension, uh, an Ag Research Field Day, and it's going to go from 8.30 to 12.30. We're going to have different presentations throughout the morning on some container and vertical gardening, but also on cane and blueberries by Dr. Lockwood. And we're going to hear some about bees and how they fit into agriculture by Dr. Scott Stewart. Yeah. Also, uh, throughout the course of that morning, you're going to have the opportunity to visit with our uh, soil test center, find a little bit about how to manage your soil. And also we'll have some of our plant diagnostic experts on hand. Wow, so lots of great ways to get free advice on growing plants and fruits in your own backyard. Thank you so much. This has been so interesting. If you'd like to find out more about the Fruits of the Backyard event tomorrow, just go to our website at newschannel5.com. Very cool to see that cucumber thing look very cool. Oh, well, I know. Even if you just have a patio or a deck, you uh -huh. can still have a vegetable garden. I yeah. love that. Check that out. Definitely. Really cool.